Assalamualaikum. So first of all we want to understand what is the difference between analysis and synthesis. To understand we have to see this uh, focus in this simple diagram. In the Fourier analysis and the input of the signal is time domain signal and the output of after analysis we get complex amplitude a case and frequency component. you can simply say analysis is the forward transform the forwards on the other hand synthesis we get a we, we give the input of the signal a complex amplitude and frequency component and after the input the output of the system is basically the continuous time domain signal x of t okay <laughs> you can simply say the synthesis is basically inverse fourier transform inverse fourier series uh, the output of the analysis is basically spectrum as you can see on the top of this diagram and the output of the synthesis is the time domain signal that is shown below in this diagram now we are going to anal- analyze our signal in time and frequency domain for both example previously done in the previous lecture so let's open our matlab window again we will consider the same example of x of t where we plot the spectrum of the signal and then after synthesize we go are going to draw the time domain again as you can see in this diagram example 1 we have for 50% duty cycle square wave the equation of x of t is 10 from 0 to t not by 2 and 0 from t not by 2 to t not and after applying these to a not and a k we are going to we have this complex for the output of the fourier analysis equation so back to the matlab clc cs when since we need three variable a t not capital t not for the fundamental time period t for the time and k is a harmonic number okay after this i am going to basic this define basis function e j 2 pi a k over t not into t and after that i am going to calculate the a not that is equal to 1 over t not integral 1 into t 0 to t not by 2 after this i am going to calculate a k that is 1 over t not integral 1 this is into comma t from 0 to t not by 2 and we have complex amplitude a k pretty a k these are the complex amplitude now substitute the value of k so sp1 is equal to substitute value of k in a k 
So minus ten to ten and S P two is equal to A K from one to ten and these are the complex amplitude after that A K D. Double and after them, and we have a spectrum of square wave that is, as you can see, the spectrum of the square wave. And this is basically analysis. We did analysis. That's first. I calculate the complex amplitude. X of t is given using the formula. A naught and E K. I calculate the complex amplitudes, and then put the value of K from minus ten to ten, and then concatenate all values and plot the spectrum of the signal. Now I am going to calculate after using these complex amplitudes. I will plot. I will try to plot the signal time domain signal. So for this, a k t one. Now we are going back to the term time domain signal. For this, we need to multiply double the amplitude, complex amplitude, so that I simply multiply with the s p four, s p four, s p one. And after these are the now I calculate the frequency vector. Uh, let's suppose I suppose my fundamental frequency is five. Now I calculate ten will frequency five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, seventh harmonic, eighth harmonic, ninth harmonic, and tenth harmonic. Because we calculate complex amplitude from zero to one to ten. That's why I take fundamental fundamental frequency is five, and ten is the second harmonic, fifth, and third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Eight, nine, and tenth harmonic. So these are the frequency components. Okay. Now I am going to plot my signal. That is my signal. Here we I simply put my frequency vector f. These are the complex amplitude A K D one. I calculate A naught is a fund uh, DC component and three is a three time period, uh, three cycle. Now I simply Block. Uh, okay, sorry. Think. Sp one is equal to. Oh, sorry. Sp two. Sorry. A K T is equal to S P two and mm, no, that is my square. Root. Sorry, this is that is a square wave. If I calculate the that is uh, basically synthesis. So I can do this same thing for the uh, triangular waveform. Let's suppose clear all. Oh, sorry, clear all CLC again. F1. I simply define the function one and F2. Sorry, same. C N C S Y M S 
again i simply define t- three variable t not k, t and k now i def- simply define f1 as you can see from the time uh, from the slide we have f1 function t 2t over t not and f2 is a 2 into t not minus t over t not so go back to the matlab again f1 is 2t uh, 2 into 2 uh, t in over t not f2 2 into t minus t t not minus t over t not So I am going to calculate a not. Now we have two function f1, f2. Again, integrate f1 with respect to time from zero to t not by two for the half time period, and again f2 for, for, uh, with respect to t and from t not to t, t not by two to t, and that is that we have uh, that is a not. Now for the a k. Again, simply need to change the basis basis function. Multiply with the basis function. Okay. Okay, is equal to that's uh, sorry base basis function need to define. Now I can calculate a k. So after calculating the a k again, S P. Here we have S P four three. Again here a k k is minus ten two. This and uh, S P four. And a k d equal to s p three s p four and sub plot two comma one comma one s t e m Minus ten to ten, comma colon error. Let's do colon and a k d, and we have a s l and I am spectrum and oh, sorry subplot. P L O T, and we have a spectrum. A B S magnitude plot. A B S spectrum. So that is a spectrum of the triangular waveform. And now I am going to calculate the K D one is equal to S P. Four. Okay, S P four. Now we are going to that is analysis. Output of the analysis spectrum is the output of the analysis. Now we are going to the stra- synthesize for synthesis. We have we are already calculated the uh, complex amplitude. Now we have already frequency. Now we. Frequency again, simple frequency. Now my underscore n again. So you can see the triangular output. Plot. Let 
it is the sputum of the triangular waveform and that is triangular waveform so you can see that is basically our analysis output spectrum is the analysis and that is a synthesis output in the synthesis we have already know the complex amplitude and all frequency comp we just need to add them and plot the uh, or plot our waveform so that is the output of the synthesis equation hope you people like my video and you can do uh, one thing more you can also plot satut wave satut wave mean that waveform is one if i simply consider let's suppose uh, clear all all clc now i simply use f1 sims sims spike and sims and uh, for the satut waveform i simply consider one equation f1 only for the 0 to t not otherwise it is zero so f1 so f1 is equal to this and a not now i am going to calculate the a not a not is equal to for this now we have a not and a k a not multiplier sorry b a s basis function a not is equal to this into b a s i and a k okay now i am going to calculate sp 3 now i mentioned sp 5 from minus 10 to this and sp 6 let me Now we have S P five, S P six. Now we already calculated the value. This A K D, A K D that is equal to S P five, S P six, and uh, okay. So that is the spectrum of the sun. Okay, now I am going to synthesize for the synthesis a k k d one is equal to s p six my f f f is equal again consider the same a k d one. Now my now you can see the shadow three um, spectrum not so that is the spectrum and that is the waveform shadow so hope you people like my video if you have any query kindly comment. share like my video and allah hafiz